Welcome back to another episode of the Fat Viking Knight, playing on FC Boomshot Survival World. Of course, this is my little froggy Labode. As you can tell, not very interesting. However, this frog is about to have a lot more than a pond. Simple as that. So, let's start. Well, today, guys, I have, of course, done a little bit off camera, and, um, after we pick some carrots here, we'll go and, uh, see what it is that I have possibly done this time. So, last time, if you remember, I went and I put uh, a couple banners up and some sigils for the walls. Well, now... I have done not a whole lot here, but something that will give me a project for the next time, simply. Um, Alright, so, as you can tell, everything in here is still the same for right now. I'm thinking about adding a small three-wide um, band across this entire thing and to use spruce wood and uh, regular oak wood to go ahead and do it. And I might do that later in this episode. But first, let's get to what I have been working on. So where I left you last time, this was just not dug out at all. It was just something that was very incomplete and had no depth to it at all and it was a very tiny area well now we have this except for it is a slime chunk we have this this massive area here is what i am going to use to construct the nether portal room with so I was uh, thinking about some other designs that I could possibly do in here and was thinking more of a twilight zone effect where um, things would be floating, there'd be random stuff flying from the skies, um, making it appear to be like you are going into another dimension, which of course you are into the, going into the nether. So I feel that it's only fitting that... Uh, that is what I do because in every other nether room that I've ever seen people always do fire fire is always a main attraction and everyone does the lava and usually nether brick maybe some obsidian usually it's um dark to say the least and I think I want to take a different approach on this one and make everything bright colors. Oops, let's go up. Um, so I'm thinking lime green wool like that. Maybe some uh, purple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There, there, and there. Good. Possibly um, some orange into it, and I plan on making it very colorful, abstract, uh, the art coming out of the walls. Um, I don't want really any lava in the entire build, to be honest, right now, because it's, I don't know, it's ev some, everyone does this, and I do not want to do something that everyone else has already done so many times and um, so the reason why it's actually not done uh, yet and I didn't just go ahead and complete it or anything yet is because I that is something I want to show to you on camera because it is different and unique and I don't think many of you will have seen something like what I'm thinking. It will be a great uh, thing to show you for the first build that I will ever show on camera. 
and I don't think we're going to get to it this episode because there's still a lot of supplies I need to gather for it, but um, next episode for sure I think we will be ready to uh, do that. And um, I think it will be a lot of fun actually and give me something very uh, creative to go from or go for I guess whatever. But, um, yeah, so right now, like I said, we're starting with the, uh, band. I want to just try out a couple designs here and, uh, see if there's anything that looks good or just pops out to me immediately. And if it does, then good. I will do the rest of the walls. But if it doesn't, then, um, I guess we're going to be doing a couple different designs here. Oh. Why is that there? Holes? And yes, I covered up iron. I don't care. Why are there holes in my walls? Stop it. Oh, this is bugging me. Stupid holes. I don't belong here, holes. Get out of my life! Get out of my life! Alright, anywho. <laughs> so, the goal of this is, like I said uh, previously, this place seems just a little bit too uh, dry not enough uh, excitement going in here however at the same time I don't want it to the point where every square inch of wall is covered by some kind of banner stripe or otherwise and so I I'm not gonna do that but um, I do want to add some depth into this whole thing and I talked to a buddy who gave me a great idea down there, actually, uh, for the waters included, and to do a pattern with a glowstone lamps and make them alternate. So, like, if this one is on, this one won't be, and then this one will, but this one won't be, and have a series of flickering lights going through the entire base down there to form a good pattern. Uh, okay, I've got wood. Alright, so we're just gonna try out this design here and see if it works. Do a couple... maybe. So far, I'm... I don't know. I'm not super pleased with it, but it doesn't look horrible. Huh. Get a look at it. It's not... I don't know. I think I'm going to do the entire side, and uh, we'll actually find out if it does look okay. Now, I'm not hoping that this will be amazing, because... I will always go back and make little um, edits to almost every build that I do because I do not like it right away and then I will restart it and very very commonly do I do this and so bear with me if one episode you see something and maybe you like the way it looks but um, then the next episode you come back and it's completely gone, different, redone, and uh, yeah. So this build here, I'm not doing in creative. I've built little parts here and there, not uh, not a big circle or anything like that um, in creative, but um, I have not done any of the... Uh, of this on um, creative worlds so I, I pretty much don't know exactly what it will look like if it will look good or anything like that because of that fact but um, I think that's the beauty of Minecraft isn't it so while I'm doing uh, this little experiment here as I will call it um, a little bit more. I'm going to tell you a uh, short little story. Now, 
The other day, I told everyone that, um, or I told everyone about Door County. Obviously, I don't own it or what anything who people who think any crazy idea like that, but, um, told you a story about there, and then I had, uh, several more that I could tell from this place. Um, hmm. That's, that's, that's pretty good, actually. Huh. Um, I think I gotta connect it there and there. Okay. Alright. So, anyway, um, the last one was about, uh, my buddy named Lydon and, uh, him, me throwing him off a jet ski. Not by choice, obviously, because I didn't really know what I was doing, but, um, next one is, a, I actually have a little, uh, moral to the story, I guess. So, if you work for something and someone takes credit for it, even though they had no part or very little part in uh, something that you have worked very hard on. And this is pretty much why. Like, I don't know how many of you have actually experienced uh, someone taking credit for something that you have truly done yourself or that you and someone else are doing and that you have this sort of vision and um that's what you want to do kind of thing but you make it um i i don't have the word here at the moment sorry about that but um anyway so this is how our story kind of starts me and uh my buddy andy we're actually uh, there. Uh, we were little. I don't remember how old as well. But um, we had went to the same lake as uh, before and same place in Door County. And um, we wanted to build a sandcastle. Now, we were going to be there all week. And so that wasn't obviously the only thing that we wanted to uh, do. But it was something that we had thought uh, one day, hey, this seems like a lot of fun, let's do it. And um, so we did. And uh, my cousin also helped in the making of it, but there was one slight problem. My cousin had also brought a friend over uh, to this lake with us uh, for the trip. And um, I don't remember her name right now, but I remember I extremely disliked this person due to the fact that uh, she did take credit for what we worked on. We had spent, I think it was almost two full days, on and off of course, uh, working on this sandcastle. And, um... You know, it doesn't sound very impressive or anything like that, and it wasn't like a godly and huge masterpiece, like a Da Vinci or anything like that, but um, it was our sandcastle, and we had planned it out and got our pail and our shovel, and uh, we were using the wet sand to mold it and all different things that went into this, and... We got very, very close to the end when my great-grandma came out to, uh, to where we were building this castle. And she said something about, like, why are, why are you ignoring your friend? And like, we were like, well, we asked her to help, and she didn't want to or something. So she just went over there and sat on the swings by herself. And she had told my grandma that uh, she had worked very hard on um, on our sand castle with us and that she should be included in the, uh, the picture when it was all done. However, or not however, unfortunately, my grandma, I think, believed her at the uh, time because 
the next thing we knew, like we were uh, getting ready to uh, go and take a new picture for our uh, 